Hey guys, today I ordered the main rod bearings for my Chrysler Sebring, and I got a couple of days to wait. So, instead of cleaning out my caravan, which I really should be doing, uh, I'm going to put a newer Chrysler radio in my Sebring. So, I'll show you. For people who want to know how to do jobs like this, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. And uh, it'll pretty much save you a lot of money. The only way it's going to really save you a lot of money is uh, if you have another Chrysler radio or you can get one of those for like really cheap. I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on this car because I really don't know, you know how this engine job is going to come out. And uh, I just want to keep the car as free as possible because that's what I got it for, for free. But anyway, I took the radio out and uh, the old radio is on top. The new radio is on the bottom. Tape player, no more tape player, CD player, thank God. I was going to go and spend like five bucks and get one of those dummy tapes that go in there so I could hook up my iPod or whatever. But I had this radio that a friend gave me. It was from a 2006 something. I don't even know what it came out of. But here's the difference. Cars made from 2000 down. Um, I don't... Uh, now, I'm not specific Chryslers, but on this particular car, it has the old-style radio plugs, all right? Um, a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, the two, I know the 2000 Caravan has it. Um, the 2001 Caravan has the newer-style plug. I've seen that. Um, I guess it just depends on the Chrysler Dodge Plymouth car. But anyway, here's the problem. Sometimes when you want to upgrade your radio, you can... But, you got to do something with the plugs. Here's the old style plugs, here's the new style plugs. So, I'm going to show you how to change this over without messing anything up, or, you know, buying expensive adapters and stuff like that, and uh, save you some money. So, here it goes. Get close to you, huh? Yeah. Subaka. First of all, you're going to want to get a pigtail from a newer Chrysler car. I got this from a 2006 Chrysler Town & Country. It has the same pinouts as the radio that I want to change to. All right. Second, you're going to want to go online and you're going to make a list of the wire differences between uh, 2006 and 2001. Um, I did 2002 to 2001 because that's all I could find at the time. But as you can see, I went from um, power distribution, ground, to amp trigger, to all the speakers. Now here's the difference. 2002 harness, which the one I have, is totally different wire-wise. 12 volt constant is gray and red, but on 2001 harness it's pink. 12 volt switched is black and pink, but on the 2001 it's red and white. So here's how you convert it. First of all you need these type of tools. You need wire caps, or however you decide to put the wires together. I don't recommend doing it with electrical tape, because it does get hot behind the dash. I usually solder and shrink tube everything, but like I said, I want to... I don't know how the engine job is going to come out, so... I might as well just uh, do it as fast as I can. But you need these. You need the crimping tool for it. You need wire strippers. And also some electrical tape to put the wires to... well, not to put them together but uh, to neaten them up in the dash. So, with your paper, you go in the car, and you're going to cut these terminals off. Cut them all off at the base, because you're never going to use them again. And you're going to take your wire strippers, you're going to strip all the wires, and with your paper, you're going to line up all the wires together. Then you crimp them on. And also, I want to tell you, the um, the antenna on some cars they may match up on some they may not but on the 2001 Sebring I guess this is what you want to call the old style um, an antenna plugs you gotta change it out with the new style the new style kinda looks like a B and C connector um, I don't know how to do this and I'm gonna post a new video on how to do this because a friend of mine is actually making an adapter for me right now so I can do this um, but as soon as I get this wiring done, um, it'll be time to do this, and I will show you how to do it. So, as far as this is concerned, I'm going to 
change this harness over and make another video. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.